All right, I am stoked. I'm excited. Uh, Brian and Gorgon were kind enough to send us a unit uh, to do some testing on with some different things. Uh, and I wanted to show you guys kind of what you get out of the box. I've got it plugged in so I can show you this menu, but one of the things that comes in the box now is this new thing that tells you about uh, frequencies and frame rates. So you've got a QR code here and it tells you the link. I've seen this site before, but hadn't done as much research as I kind of wish I had prior to getting here. So if you guys are waiting on your Evos and wanting to read a little bit more about it, uh, this is what you're looking at. So you've got a whole bunch more options here on your cyclic servos. So when you get into your model setup, and this is the one that just came, uh, I haven't actually flashed my new model to it, but you can see when you select your cyclics, you've got a whole lot of options here. So you're definitely going to want to read a bit, a little bit about uh, what your cyclics can do. And I'm going to do some testing. Hopefully, uh, I'm going to fly these. Uh, I've got my raw here that I'm moving it over to, and I'll be testing the theta servos out at uh, 520, and then I'll switch them over to 760 after a couple of flights, and we see what it's like. So, I'm going to pull this old Neo off, uh, save my setup, and then I will load it onto the new Evo and test everything out, and make sure all the settings are the same that I don't need to reset my pitch or my midpoints or anything like that. So I'll have this up for you guys. All right, I got my Neo off of the RAW and I'm just gonna go in here and save this setup. I've already done this, but I'll show you guys what I'm doing. I've got uh, my RAW that I called RAW Theta with my Theta servos uh, and you just save that setup. All right, just showing you guys what we're doing. Again, I'm just gonna load this setup. I've got the Evo now and I've got my setup saved for the raw theta and I'm gonna load that on here, get it plugged in and check everything out and make sure it all looks correct. So I've got my setup loaded and I'm just running a quick check and if you can pull up your basic menu here, I can see that my settings have transferred over and if I look at um, all this stuff, this is how I set mine up, so looks good. Oh, we have a new menu. I just saw this for the first time. Tilt work extended. I'm gonna have to learn about that one. I don't know that one for you guys yet. All right, I'm pumped. I've got it installed and I have uh, checked everything and this all came out perfectly. Everything is working in the right direction. The tail and I've still got center at mid stick and the same amount of throws in both directions. So uh, getting into model setup for the first time I still haven't selected my swash servo type, so everything's functioning correctly. Um, I don't know this for certain, but that leads me to believe that it's selecting the default that the Neo is using, uh, and you can do this now yourself. So I've still got mine set at 720, and I'm going to set mine at 333, because I was told by someone else uh, that that would work great. So I'm gonna test that out on my first flight. If it's oscillating, I'll go down, because I've read, read other things, uh, that say they were running down to uh, as low as 125 and it was working great. I'm going to leave it at 333, so it's kind of maxed out for 520 or 1520. And on my tail, I'm going to test this out also. I've been told that the Theta tail can handle up to 1000. Uh, I'm going to let this sit for a little bit probably and see if the machine or the servo gets hot. Uh, but I'll play with that for a little bit. And then my ESC output also has some new settings. However, I don't know that I'm going to uh, play with that as much. So I use the YGE uh, internal, the YGE governor, and I'm gonna leave that alone for now. So looking forward to getting out there and testing this for you guys, but the setup took me uh, 15 minutes to run through and everything looks like it's ready to go. So we'll get out and fly soon. All right, so the point of this is really just to show you guys how easy it is to transfer the setup over. So if you're newer in the hobby and you're a little bit worried about changing something on your model because it's already flying so good, yeah, it's nice to know it's going to be easy. Uh, and we've got a couple of things coming. Doug uh, Darby has made some really fantastic looking uh, aluminum cases that he's milled out of his CNC machine. Uh, I've been over there watching him make these. They're amazing. I'm excited to test those out. So when we get this up, we're testing with the plastic case. Gonna fly it, 
Uh, we're going to look at the uh, V-bar, the uh, vibration analyzer, and make sure everything looks good. And then we're going to put them in his new cases and do the same kind of test, and we'll be able to see uh, if the vibrations are being dampened a little bit better in that aluminum case that he's manufactured for us. So we've got some fun. I uh, look forward to playing with this. And thanks again, Brian and Gorgon with Mikado for letting us uh, test this stuff out and hopefully have these new cases that Doug's got going uh, working perfect.